Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this morning's edition of Hashtag GSC at Home. My name is Veronica. I'm one of the astronomers at the Planetarium at Glasgow Science Centre. And this morning, we are going to talk about my top three favourite things about the planets Mars. Now, the very first thing I'm going to talk about is the geography of Mars. I have a wonderful model here. You can see that it's covered in all of this red. Now, the ancient Romans called after their god of war because they thought it was covered in blood. But it's not covered in blood, it's covered in iron oxide, rust. The same stuff you would find in your bike if you left it out in the rain for too long. Now, it's got a lot of wonderful features. Now down here in my model, if you angle down a little bit, you can see there's lots of wonderful features um, and there's this great big gouge out of this site. So that's called the Valley Marinaris. Now, that is huge. It's massive. Now, if you think of our Grand Canyon, that's pretty big. That's why we call it the Grand Canyon. Now, if you were to put the Valley Marineris on Earth, it would stretch from one end of North America all the way to the other. That's like from Los Angeles all the way to New York. It would be huge. Now, you can see over here, there's a whole bunch of mountains. They're actually volcanoes. And this one here is huge, massive. Um, if you were to put it here on Earth, it would be three times the height of Mount Everest. Massive. It's the biggest volcano in all of the solar system. The base of it is the size of France. The size of France is huge. Now, if you were to stand at the very top of it and look out, you wouldn't be able to see the edge of that volcano. Not because of how massive it is, but because of the tilt, the, the, because of the curvature of the planet. That is incredible. So that's my first favourite thing about the planet of Mars. The second favourite thing is if there's water on Mars, then perhaps there's life. Because the number one ingredient that you need for life is water. When you find water, you find life. And it has to be in liquid form. Now, the planet of Mars, if you look over here, you can see at the very top, there's some polar ice caps. Now, there's a lot of ice water in those polar ice caps. But they're mostly made up of um, carbon dioxide, but in ice form as well. It's really, really cold. Um, we have found some water vapour in the atmosphere. And the way that we've done that is because, well, we haven't found life on Mars, but we know that it's inhabited by something else. It's entirely inhabited by robots. Lots and lots of robots. In fact, we sent them all there. We don't call them robots, we call them rovers and they explore the surface on our behalf because it's kind of an extreme environment. So we need something uh, to go up there and beat our eyes and our ears for it. So it found uh, vapor water in the atmosphere and it also found some ice water, but as of yet, no liquid water on the surface of Mars. But we do know from lots of things that we've found in the surface that it used to be covered in water. Lots and lots of water. Vast oceans and seas, lashings of the stuff. But that all disappeared. We're not entirely sure why it disappeared. We know that um, Mars isn't quite big enough to hold on to its atmosphere. But we're not entirely sure why all of those seas and oceans dried up. So perhaps at one point, Mars had lots of seas and oceans and all of that liquid water, perhaps it was life. And if we find even the tiniest microbe on the surface of Mars, that will change a lot. It'd be revolutionary, It'd be amazing. Now we're sending up another rover called Rosalind Franklin, and it's going up there to find life. So that's my second favorite thing. My third favorite thing, I sadly don't have a model for it. I need you to use your imaginations. There are two things orbiting around our wonderful planet of Mars. It's moons. They're called Phobos and Deimos. It means fear and dread. It's pretty cool. Excellent name if you're going to get a pair of cats. Yeah. <laughs> now, Phobos and Deimos, they're not like ermine. They're not like big and round and spherical. They're called potato moons. It's not because they smell like potato or taste like potato. It's because they kind of look like baked potatoes. Now, one's super close to the surface of Mars and it's getting closer and closer. Um, and when it gets closer, the gravity of the planet is starting to rip apart that moon. 
If it gets close enough, perhaps that moon will rip apart completely and become the first rings going around a terrestrial planet in our solar system. Pretty cool. Now, the other one, um, Deimos, is a lot farther out and is slowly getting farther and farther away. And eventually it will just drift off altogether and go on its own journey through our solar system. So that's my top three favorite things about the planet of Mars. If you've got any more, comment down below. Um, if you'd like to see another planet, just let us know. Um, if you have any further questions, contact us here at the planetarium at GSC Planetarium. And have a great day. Goodbye.